This is for Year 12 methods that comes out of VCAR 2017 Exam 1, Question 7, A, B and C. OK, I've got f of x. Normally f of x, which is the square root of x plus 1, has been translated one unit to the left would look like this. But I've got a restricted domain for f from 0 to infinity. Therefore, we go from 1 to infinity for our for our graph. So the domain of f is 0 to infinity, but the range of f is 1 to infinity. So 1 to infinity is the answer. OK, let g have a restricted domain, and this is what g looks like. I've already factorised g, and this looks like what g looks like. However, Find the largest possible value of C such that the range of G is a subset of the domain of F. So the range of G is a subset of the domain of F. And my domain of F is 0 to infinity. So the range of G at the moment goes from down here all the way up to infinity. And I want it to be 0 to infinity. So I'd have to stop here or go from here and 10, so negative 3, negative 1. I either need to do negative infinity to negative 3 or negative 1 to infinity. And that will give me a range that will fit inside this domain. Since I've got negative infinity to C, C must equal negative 3. OK, what is the range of? f of g. I go through g of x first. I come out of g of x and I go through f of x. The numbers that are going to go into g are going to be negative infinity up to negative 3. So these are the numbers that are going to go into g. What's going to come out is 0 to infinity. So what's going to go in here is 0 to infinity, which is the same as this domain here. So the range will still be 1 to infinity. The smallest number coming out of here will be 0. And when I put a 0 in there, I get 1. Then I'll have bigger numbers coming out. And as I put bigger numbers in here, it's going to get bigger and bigger. So 1 to infinity will be the answer for part B. Looking at part C, I've now got f of g. So I've got f of x, and I might just and if I consider h, so the domain of h is all real numbers, and h is x squared plus 3, so the range of h is 3 to infinity. For f of h of x to exist, the range of h has to be a subset of the domain of f, and that does fit inside there. That 3 to infinity does fit inside 0 to infinity. So that's a winner. It does exist. Now, if I consider that I go through h of x first, what goes in will be the domain of h, which is all real numbers. And what will come out will be 3 to infinity. Then that will go in through f of x. So I have a restricted domain of 3 to infinity. So if the smallest number that I put in is 3, root 4, 2 should be the smallest number that I get out. And if I put in bigger numbers, the bigger this number is, the bigger I get. So 2 to infinity should be the range in part C.